Wow, this looks like a fun time killer. I wanna play it. Wait, you wanna tell me that this is fake and the game is nothing like the ad? Holy fuck, why would you do this? Alright, I'm just gonna make this game myself, I guess. So, I made this little gentleman move forward. Very impressive. As usual, I divided terrain into small chunks so I can repeatedly spawn new chunks and remove old ones while the player moves. This will simulate infinite world. This time we need to generate navigation mesh as well to allow different AI characters move on a plane. If you don't know what navigation mesh is, then bad for you. Anyway, here is a quick demonstration of how it works. You can say that this is piece of shit and you would be kinda right, but this took me a whole day of work, so pay some respect. Next thing we can see in this ad is some sort of checkpoints with mathematical expressions. I quickly made two transparent planes with colliders. When units will move through, I will know it and proceed it in my... um... Code. The one missing thing is expressions. I wanna use x as a variable in these expressions, unlike the at. It will represent amount of units or unit power that player has. It allows me to use more complicated expressions in future. And this will probably make the game more complex and enjoyable. I think I coded a bunch of expressions to test things out and made an expression oracle that will know exactly which expression you should have chosen to get the maximum amount of points. I will explain it a bit later. Oh shit. To prevent undesirable behavior, I coded a special class to approximate desirable location for my units. After fixing some errors, I disabled checkpoints and tested movement with only one unit, because it's more convenient. Did I test it with enabled checkpoints? Um, sure. Finally, superior dinosaurs mind have won a battle, but not a war. The problem is, I hard-coded maximum amount of units on the screen to be 16. Why? A player can easily accumulate more than 1000 units, if he's not completely dumb, and it is probably a bad idea to have 1000 units simultaneous. Why 16? Well, I like powers of 2. So the solution is to use mega units. Every unit now represents fixed amount of points. White unit equals 1 point. Blue unit 5 points. Yellow unit 20 points. Red unit 100 points. You got it. I should probably start working on adding enemies to the game. It is probably a decent idea to generate enemies amount based on player score or unit power. Because obviously it doesn't make sense if you have two units and you will face 100 enemies. As you can see, I've also added small debug numbers to render the best possible score a player could get. That's exactly why we need expression oracle. Let me explain. Since we are generating world pieces ahead of the player, we need to know how much units or unit power player will have in advance. We need to find the exact way a player should take to maximize amount of units he has, calculate amount of unit power he could possibly get, and generate enemies based on this number. That's what I did. And it worked. Until the moment it didn't. Ok, so we have too many enemies to generate. Solution? Mega enemies. We can have different types of enemies, just like different types of player units, to represent different amount of power. So green enemies is 5 power. Different type of green enemies is 20 power. You got it. So, as I understood from the ad and using common sense, your units will fight enemies between checkpoints. And you can lose some units or score in a fight. I implemented this system and I will probably adjust it later, cause they just literally disappear from the screen, but it is fine now. Also, enemies in the ad have some kind of intelligence, since they don't just stay still. So yeah, let's make them smart. I mean, is it already smart enough? Probably yes. 
Basically, this is a solid prototype, and I wanna start polishing things, set up animations, making them shiny and whatnot, so let's start from enemies. I'm gonna yoink a zombie pack I purchased for my Plants vs Zombies remake and use it for enemies. And I'm gonna yoink epic free characters from Paragon and use it for my units. I added some blood effects, set up smooth animations, made enemies die with style and things like that. Next thing I coded was user interface and there is literally one UI element if this is considered to be a UI element at all. Unit's power number, above unit has. Looks fancy and I'm gonna start to improve absolutely empty world. And you know what? Now this is absolutely empty world with fog. I added fog to hide the fact that enemies and world itself is generated in runtime. So have the fog helped me to hide world generation? No, but it looks cool. The solution I found is to create a fake end of the world, spawn it once and move when a new world piece is spawned. That kinda helped, so it's fine. Testing different stuff over and over again, I found out that it is kinda boring to play with such an easy expressions, like it's not even challenging, so I came up with the genius idea of adding a hard mode. I significantly increased expressions pool and added optional hard mode with more complicated expressions. Uh, yeah, that's easy. Here. And there, um, alright, I probably should test stuff on easy mode, but it's not because I'm dumb, it's just more convenient. The next problem I need to solve is to decide when the game is over, how a player can lose. Judging by the ad and common sense, if you choose wrong expressions, you won't have enough units to fight against enemies and you will be defeated, but it's kinda weird that in the ad you can make 10 bad decisions in a row and lose only at the end, so in my version, if you made a bad decision, you lose immediately in the next fight. <laughs> the way you lose is kinda questionable, cause right now this happens. So, um, I don't know, let's put a black screen at the end, should help, kinda better, right? Maybe slow the time. And explosions, more explosions. And also screen shake. Yes. So now what I wanna do is to decorate everything. Make things sweet and fluffy, you know. I was experimenting with stuff a bit, creating some lights, adding some effects, changing existing stuff as well, even trying to make a um, background. Uh, this is actually what I achieved. Looks pretty decent. I quickly scripted a simple menu to let players select difficulty level and set up sound effects. So here we go. You know, I'm a terrible commentator anyway, so i leave you alone for a minute. Gonna make a cup of tea. Be right back. Fuck you, game. Alright, 
I guess it is time to ask you to like and comment the video, follow me on Twitter, join my Discord, blah blah blah, so you better do it. But seriously, let me know if you enjoyed the video. I could remake some games from weird mobile ads in future, so it would be great to know your opinion, guys. You can also download and try the game following the link in the description. It's not really fun after 10 minutes, but you are welcome to try it yourself. Let me as well thank all my Patreon supporters and especially Luke Shurgers. Thank you, guys. That's about it. Stay safe and as always, see you next time.